sometimes I come out here and fly up and down the street, uh, you know, over private property, over public property, and everything. Oh, I get it. And, uh, about drone, the drone laws. He's bitching about it. I'm FAA licensed. He has no control of airspace. As long as I'm not hovering over his home for more than a few minutes, he can't do a damn thing about it. I mean, there's a WFA story that was just recently done on drones. It's just common courtesy, Chris. Come well, on. I know that, but listen. I'm not flying over his home. That's the I problem. I get it. I get it. It's okay? just common courtesy, I'm not man. flying over his home. Yeah, it's an ongoing issue what everyone's mean? having with you flying this drone. And okay. you know that. No. I'm flying, not flying over his home. All right? Not at all. I'm flying over the 10 acres back here. The guy that lives two houses up from him, Joe, goes out there and watches me every day when I'm flying. Mm -hmm. And he's even told me, I'm going to go have a conversation with him because I never see you fly over his property. He sent me text messages several weeks ago throwing a fit about it. I'm like, dude, I'm he's not flying over your property. I'm flying over the property behind your property. Yeah, and that he has drone, a pool in his backyard that he doesn't want you taking pictures. I don't know what you have on your drone. If you have a camera, you have... And I was wanting to show it to him today. Because I went down there and I said, here, here's a piece of paper that shows the law. I have every right to fly over your house. Y'all can't do a damn thing about it. I know you can't. You don't have a right to fly over his house. Yes, you do. Look no. at the law. Look at the law. Okay. I'm don't, telling you right don't, now. don't make me get the law. Okay. Okay. Uh, have you talked to Lieutenant Lang Langham already? No, why? Was okay. I supposed to? Uh, you will. You will be this week. Yeah. Because he, uh, ha he has it all printed out for you. WFA the did a story on it. Okay. WFA is the news. Yeah. They did a story over it. Okay. And there's drone people that says, yeah, you can fly over to other people's We're, property. With the WFA is no law. So you're trying to tell me they don't know what law. WFA, a news, a yeah, news they department. They don't know. They haven't done They the are not the law. I know they're not the law, but they haven't okay. done the research. What I'm telling you is, you cannot fly over people that are on foot. You cannot fly over moving vehicles. You cannot fly over houses that are occupied. Okay. Okay. And so you I'd will like talk to. to law. Either way, you will hear either, from either, Lieutenant yeah. Langham. Okay, but either Do you know way, who Lieutenant Langham yeah, is? I know who he is? Okay. Yeah. You'll but, be hearing from him this but week. But either okay. way, because I have of, not done that. Okay. To him. I have flown over the 10 acres back here that I have permission to fly over from the property owner to a friend of mine. Right. I'm flying behind home. His thing is he has a pool in his backyard. I have a pool in my backyard. Is he flying a drone over here? No, but I mean, behind still, I have, I have a pool in my backyard. Privacy. Those drones do he not ha see He has expectations. Yeah, and I was wanting to show him today how the, the capability of that drone. That drone does not zoom in like that. It's no way. Those drones aren't built like that. You go talk to the guy up in town that's got, you know, he does a drone business, Maverick drones. Mm -hmm. He's got $8,000 drone. Of course, his camera can zoom in really right. good. Right. These little cameras here have no zoom capability mm -hmm. except just a small amount. I, I even show. I know that's why I tried showing it to him today. He didn't want to listen to me. Right. I said, you know, come here. I'm upset. Uh, here, I'm going to show you the law. I'm going to show you the drone so you can see the capability of it. I literally would have to be, that tree right there, I'd have to be 10 feet up and looking at you, zoomed in two times to see your face really good. That's how bad that, that camera is. They're not meant to be peeping toms. They're not meant to do that. They're meant for aerial photos. It's put, all they're meant for. Put yourself in his shoes for a second. I've tried. You, I don't know. Langham knows the issues with him. Okay? You don't know what Langham does. Okay. Okay, so Langham knows the issues with this guy. I have, I've sued him for defamation and slander. Mm -hmm. I've won the lawsuit. He has mm -hmm. all kinds of restrictions on him. Okay. And he's bitching about every little thing. Okay? As well he should. As, as well he should that's private property back there i get it okay i'm flying but on he private has an property. expectation of privacy in his backyard as well it so you're matter. flying in the property back there no it does not with the camera no it does not i have every right to fly over that 10 acres yeah, yeah over the 10 acres exactly you're doing it to make him mad and you know that no i'm not yeah you are no i'm not i am right. not i flew back i flew back there for almost three weeks mm -hmm. flew back there for three weeks not a we've been getting calls for those three not weeks. a peep from the same people on this side of the street nope Okay, I know there's one all over, over this neighborhood. I know one over there. For all sure. over Crump, Crump Country I know and over there. I know there's one over there. I know. Okay. I know that. It's an ongoing issue, and, and you know it. Oh, this guy over here, I know. I I was out flying one night, flew over uh, Vladimir's house, uh -huh. and they started shooting at it with a gun. Uh -huh. And I went over and talked to him and said, look, that's federal federal charges out there because that's considered an unmanned aircraft, and it's just like uh -huh. shooting a helicopter airplane. I said, uh -huh. you can't do that. Were you flying over his house? No, I was flying over Vladimir's house. And he Who's shot Vladimir? at Vladimir. This guy right here. Okay. This one right here. This house right here. The house backs up. To, I well, doubt if you were flying over house. someone else's house, they're going to shoot at it. No, he was shooting at it my house, at my drone when I was flying over Vladimir's house. And Vladimir's house doesn't even back up to his. It backs up to the the empty lot back there. Mm -hmm. So his house backs up to the one next to Vladimir's house. But they shot it at that night. But the point is, as I know about that, I've already had a discussion with mm -hmm. him, talked to him. I've shown him the capabilities of the camera. So he, he's not upset about it. He, everything's good with that. But nobody on this side of the street, backing up to this property, has bitched at y'all except for him. And that is it. And we've That's had issues. probably because you know he doesn't like it, so you fly behind no, his house on purpose. That's yeah. not what I'm doing. You know what it is? Be honest with you, this time of day, when this one I'm flying, where's the sun at? 
Look at it. Where's Sun at? I don't know. Okay. It's in the west. So if I'm turning this way and flying on this part of the 10 acres, mm -hmm. I'm looking right at that sun. Mm -hmm. That drone gets blurred out where I can't see it, right? What are you so, trying to see? The drone. You're trying to see the drone? You have to, to keep the... By law, I have to keep the drone, drone in sight. Yes, sight. yes, you do. Okay. That's so, the same exact law that says you can't fly over people, moving cars, or occupied structures. Well. Look, what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up getting sighted for it. So yeah. just to solve this situation, can you just but the not... the point is... No, the point is... There's no point of this look, conversation because I didn't fly look, over here. There is a point because you called us. <laughs> if we keep getting called out here, you're going to get a sighted. I'm telling you, it's an We're ongoing to, issue with your drone. solve the situation. Okay. All right. But I'm trying to tell you. If I'm on private property that I have permission to be on, y'all can't do a thing about it. Nothing. At all. And I'll call the FAA come Monday and talk to them and about we'd this. we'd love to talk to them. Bring yep, them down here. Because the factor WFA already did a fact check on it. WFA is nothing. But they do news. They news. You don't think they news. do the research? Yeah, everything's right on the news, right? Well, no. You're true about that. <laughs> come on, right man. <laughs> come on. You're right about that. But I'm saying they, they do their fact checks. You know, they research it really well. Most of the stuff. Most. Not, not the political stuff, but most of the stuff. But either way... I have been flying out here for a long time, and yeah, I, I get, get that guy over there. I had a discussion with him already about it. We talked, and I showed him the camera. He's fine. He's mm -hmm. like, okay, I ain't worried about it now, because there's there's no way that I mean. Okay, I well, I'm gonna go talk to Dwayne. If he wants to see your camera, you yeah. get to show it to him yeah, so but he it's sees not tomorrow, it. Tomorrow, because my batteries are dead. So, I mean, I can try to. We're not gonna be here tomorrow. So, well, I can try to put one of them in and see if it'll work, and get if I can get it up enough. But I'm, yeah, or he not, to, if he wants to see how the camera works, so he knows that you can't see him when yeah. he's in his pool. Yeah, as long as there's enough batteries for me to do it, I'll throw it up ten feet up in there and a few feet out, twenty feet out, and let him see. Because uh, let me tell you what, at that from his from his back fence, and the thing is, that I'm not going. I'm not going slow. I'm not doing this real slow. I'm flying that thing as fast as it goes when I go by his house. So even if I was, which I'm not, if I was recording, it's not going to catch anything but a blur. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the last week, I haven't even had a chip in it. It has to have a chip in it to even record anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I, like I told Joe down there, Joe and his wife go out and watch me fly all the time. And he told me, he said, look, he said, uh, I don't you know, I don't bother me at all because I like watching you fly. And he knows. He's, he said he's going to go talk to Dwayne himself. He said, because I watch you fly. You never fly over your place. You fly really fast going by his house. You turn around, you come back. I'm just constantly doing loops. Sometimes I go down low, land it, bring it back up, you know, different things like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing anything that should upset him. And if he's got questions about it, I went down today and I said, hey, here's the law. I'm going to show you the camera. And he's, I'm calling the cops. So go right ahead and call the cops. Uh -huh. We were already on the phone with him. Yeah. So, but, uh, I mean, it's just a, a deal where it's like, all you got to do is, like, just like we just got back from our, our trip. Mm -hmm. We were at it, uh, well, I took it with me on my trip. We went to a bunch of different islands. Mm -hmm. And when I came back, we were in Miami for a day, mm -hmm. and I was flying it on the beach. Well, I was flying it really fast, right over the water, you know, right in front of everybody. And some guy comes out there and tells me the city ordinance says you can't fly drones on the beach. I said, well, I'm FAA licensed, and the federal law supersedes local law. And he goes, well, blah, blah, and what it was, some girl underneath the umbrella went and bitched at me about it. And I wasn't even videotaping nothing. I was just flying. So I went and landed, and I went and asked the lifeguard. Lifeguard checked with their boss, and the boss says, I ain't no freaking city ordinance. It's just people are scared of at least things. It really should be. I mean, it's a, it's a privacy deal. Well, I don't get it. Especially I, on a beach. Well, I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, if I'm not flying over their home, which I, like I told him weeks ago in text message, I said, dude, I'm being respectful of your property and not flying over your property. Mm -hmm. That's all you should be worried about. I'm being respectful of your place. I said, any place I'm flying over now is the public roadway or it's the property in the back or my own home. I said, so I've been trying to be very, you know, accommodating to everybody because I know a couple people got upset. Most people aren't, but a few. Mm -hmm. Him and that guy over there. And I said, so I'm trying to accommodate everybody because I don't want them getting upset. Right. By flying over Pope Roadway or back there. Well, I'm sorry, but both places, I'm flying up and down, you know, because the sun's right to my back. Right. So if I'm turning this way trying to fly, the sun's right in my eyes and I can't see the drone that's going too far away from me. Okay. So that's a good, good place because when I'm flying, I'm flying down that way. Right. Back sun from my back. Because I'm going to come out here in the middle of the day and right. it's too, too freaking hot. hot you know? yep, I'm not trying you. to be a jackass about it, but I'm trying to be as accommodating to him and everybody else as I can. Okay. But it, it shouldn't take my right to have fun and fly my drone. You know? And like I said, I'm not even videotaping 99.9% .9 of the time. The only time I've ever... I mean, I've got... like right You're now, the you, only one that knows that, though. Well, yeah. I know. But like right now, you can check the chip because I just got back. I just literally pulled in the driveway. He knows that because he's watching me. 
it's in the back of my truck the drone is you can check the chip there's nothing on there besides vacation videos and aerial photos of the entire area i mean i'm way i'm way i'm way up in the air and taking pictures you know back toward the sunset and that's it so i mean he's just being a crybaby and langham knows that i've had issues with him in the past and i had to sue him and i won the lawsuit and then the other guy that used to live on the other side of him that died he ended up getting arrested for stalking me and my family. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, but he ended up dying like six months later because after they found out that he, you know, had pancreatic cancer, mm. the DA said, so we'll put the charges aside and we'll go from there. Right. You know? And then if you leave it to him and his family alone, then we'll be fine. So he left us alone. He died. And things have been wow. good. Yeah. And then, you know, Dwayne was part of that, you know, and things have been pretty quiet until, you know, Three weeks ago when he started texting me my messages you know about flying the drone back and i'm like dude i'm not flying over your house i'm not peeping the tom and you i'm flying fast as i can past i'm not even going slow and like i said joe's not home but when he gets home he'll he'll testify to that what's on the joe uh, joe's the when you go down to duane's okay two houses before duane's a gray pyramid so like mine 28 128 i'm not even going to guess but it's pyramid like mine okay but it's gray brick and that's Joe and Laura. And then they went to Galveston. I should be back tomorrow. But Joe's okay. been out there every day the last three, four weeks when I was here watching me fly. Is Dwayne the one down there at the end? In the yellow? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's Dwayne. Okay. But he's been watching me fly. And he said, I just talked to him like, I don't know, earlier this week. They were getting ready to go to Galveston. He said, because this week when I was out there flying, Dwayne come out there, you motherfucking dick fly it down here. I'm like, I'm not going to let him intimidate me. I'm just, I'm flying on private property I got permission to be on. So I just kept flying, and he come out there and started doing like this, acting like he had a gun in his hand, going to shoot it. I just ignored him. I'm like, shoot it now. You'll be paying for me a new drone. And uh, I was talking to Joe and told Joe, Joe and he goes, he goes, we were watching that day through our, our uh, dining room window while we were sitting here eating supper. And he goes, so I didn't hear that. He goes, but I'm going to go talk to him because we see you fly every day. You don't fly across this property. So. Okay. Well, let's know. go talk to him. All right. Hey, Sarge. What's up? We're gonna stop being in the neighborhood antagonist, man. I'm not feeling that if anybody's tagging. Really? Yeah. Those neighbors can't stand you. Those neighbors can't stand you. Those what neighbors, neighbors can't, down there stand there can't stand you? What neighbors can't stand you? These guys right here, this is all good. Man. They got to be boys. It was all the guys that lived with us. That's all it was. But we're all good. Neighbors from antagonists? I was trying to be nice. Because I know he's gonna complain. That's really what he's doing. He's gonna complain. Hey, never been out here. Anybody else? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who's that? The guy right next door. Your son? Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, the guy next door. Nope, never been out of there. Well, you weren't. The other night. Aggravated assault, deadly weapon, and because aggravated assault with bodily injury, huh? Because of what? Oh, because my son was walking down the fence line. Oh. But we had permission. It's Not always it's always about permission. Oh, we did. You, you have, have permission to fly in the bag. You have permission to walk down the fence line. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and argue with you guys. Okay. If y'all want to sit here but, and insult me like this, we'll no. just walk Nobody in the house. Insulting. Yeah, you are. That's insulting. Because you, insulting? You, yes, know, saying, you know you're pissing people off and you're doing it on purpose. You know that. Oh, I'm not. I am not. You know Dwayne doesn't want you flying the drone around his house, but yet you still want to fly it not on his property, but behind his okay, house. Okay, so where else am I supposed to fly? And have Find a field. That's 10 acres in the back. But you have to fly behind his house. I have permission. You have permission. That's right. Austin had permission to walk down the fence line. Yes, he did. By the property owner. The actual I'm owner of the home. That's a renter. Over your own house. You ain't got enough room to fly that big old thing. I got a huge one. That's as big as your house? No, it's not as big as my house, but I got a big one. And even at that, when you're trying Ten to Ten acres, turn, but he has to fly behind Dwayne's. I mean, you can do what you want to do, because I'm not going to sit here and listen to y'all just antagonize This isn't the first time we've got called about this drone, though. Okay, and I told you I already talked to the guy over there about it, and we resolved the issue with that one. What, uh, what governing body do you adhere to? What do you mean? You have to adhere to the FAA. FAA. Yeah. Okay. They they require that you adhere to a governing body. Yes. We have to fly. We have to, we can't fly more than 400 feet uh, above. We have to keep the drone in line of sight. So you do okay. AMA? Huh? AMA is the governing body that you adhere to. What do you mean? AMA, the American Mon or, uh, Association well, of Modelists. What's the FAA, FAA uh, recreational? Uh, is what we go by. And so if the rules are 400 feet, we can't go above 400 feet. Let's keep going on a site. We can't go over, go over groups of people. I don't know where this house thing came in. I've never heard that one. Unprotected people, occupied houses, or vehicles. Unprotected people? Mm -hmm. People walking. Yeah. 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 Fly over any of those things. Yeah. Okay. Also, do you have do you have your uh, do you have your uh, registration on 
Yeah, your aircraft. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you want to see it? Number? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Planning spot registration. What the hell is that? Talking about the different drone models. And there's nothing mentioned about over a house or drone something or no. him if there's enough battery juice I want to show Dwayne the camera capabilities of it because it does not have a very good zoom feature it's more for aerial photos right. than it is anything okay. and even Joe so down do you there, have in your footage you have any footage of any people no not not except for my vacation so there's nobody in the neighborhood that, no. that you have any footage of nobody in the neighborhood at all the only thing I have in the neighborhood is aerial photos like I told him Look in this direction of the sunset, for the entire area. You know what I'm saying? Just behind you. Williams, back here. Williams, back there. And you're able to fly over that. And where are you find this irritating over, neighbor? Over what? You're able to fly over this 10 acres? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this 10 acre goes all the way to the end of our street. Where it goes. So it's the end of the street. Yeah. Is that where Dwayne is, all the way at the end? He's second to the end. Second to the end? Okay. Yeah. And, and, uh, why are you fly all the way back there? If you could just fly it all this team like this right here. Because why, why, why push it? Why why annoy somebody when you what I do when you have all this? Is two houses down, okay, is where I had the landing pad mowed out. Well, you can't move it somewhere else. I probably could. Okay, well, if that was all this here, yeah, that was so, all. I mean, situation. I go back there, you know, and do it, and because because like I told him, I got to keep line of sight. Right. So <laughs> if I'm even down the line there, of sight to the end of the street, yeah, that's pushing it. it. Well, yeah, but you can still see it. I mean, you can it's still see the drone. I mean, it's you see how big it is. I mean, it mm -hmm. comes out. It's, yeah. It spreads out. Yeah. It's a huge drone. You can see that drone. It ain't right. like a little tiny thing. It goes out there pretty good. I mean, but that yeah. isn't. I mean, you still have to answer the question why you just can't move the landing pad just to. I mean, you want to. You want to. You want to be. A, you want to be a good neighbor. Right? I could probably be moving to a house. Well, that's, you you want to be that, good, cool with your neighbors, right? I do. Okay. If, but if this resolves the and situation, and I was telling him, y'all need to talk to Langham. The Wayne, because Langham and Eston that live down there, I had charges and filed on Eston for stalking, and Dwayne got sued, and I won the lawsuit against him. So this has been an ongoing thing. Eston died, that that's gone. Dwayne, he's just being a big baby, and like I told him, I'm not flying this thing slow and turning around looking at his house. When I'm going by, it's it's facing forward, and it's going up to the trees, and then turns around and comes back. It's constantly doing this. So you put charge on that guy, you sue the other guy, now you get charged on this guy from, from your son. You dealt with, you what, dealt charges with on what guy? On the guy for the aggressor? Your neighbor. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. You dealt with, dealt with these well, guys. Y'all didn't do I, mean, I didn't do that. Y'all did there, there, there seems like a like a central center, central uh, problem for all this. And it okay, let me ask you a question. Use hmm? this situation over here. Whose fault was that? I don't, I don't remember, understand. man. It was years ago. It was a property it was both y'all's fault. Property line remember. with you, right? Right. Both y'all's fault. But it was a petty issue. But it was just like this. But it was a property line issue she had. I didn't have it. She threw a fit with me and had a, had a huge fit because I was doing work on these tickets right here on this fence. She claimed this fence was her fence. All right. So if somebody come told you that fence is mine and you knew better than that, would you sit there and just okay? I, I won't mess with it. I won't fix it. I won't do nothing. No. no As I'll, a property owner, you wouldn't. No, but you I'll explain to them. Are you gonna cut me off? No, go ahead. You cut me off, but go ahead. Can I talk? Yeah, are you go gonna ahead. talk? Okay. Go ahead. I would be a good neighbor, mm -hmm. and I would talk to them about this fence that I know is mine, and they think is theirs. Okay. I wouldn't call the police and have them come out here and try to resolve it for me. I'm an adult. I can resolve issues, right? Am I right? Okay. Like I said, you cut me off. I went over there with the survey, and I showed her. I showed her the survey. Mm -hmm. You got a metal detector. I was out here for the survey issue. And I showed her where the stakes were at. Mm -hmm. Took string, stake to stake. String. Yeah, string. String is what we're using as a, as a... Well, 
Yeah. I'm not a surveyor, but mm -hmm. stake to stake, string tightened out, mm -hmm. there's a general area of, of where mm -hmm. it's at, right? Correct. Okay. So I showed her that, all right? She didn't want to believe that. She thought that my fake, my survey was fake, and she threw a fit about it. And so when I went to commission to replace some tickets, she called you guys. Got you guys in the ball mm -hmm. on it. And I'm like, hey, here's the survey. Y'all agreed with me. You know, came out. You're like, yeah, sorry, it's his property because it goes over over there so far. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the word, the exact thing was, if you don't agree with his survey, y'all get a survey. Mm -hmm. So eventually they did, and they found out I was right. But okay. the whole thing was because she got mad because I was working on my fence that she thought was her fence, even though her ex-husband, when I moved here, there was a double fence. Mm -hmm. Okay, there was my fence and their fence mm -hmm. and I went over and talked to him because there's grass this high growing through it and said hey man if you want to just take that down keep it mowed spray it whatever and that's fine with me and he did he agreed, we agreed to do that well two husbands later that's when the argument about whose property it was mm -hmm. her ex-husband even told her that is his property mm -hmm. but her boyfriend slash husband at the time didn't want to believe it mm -hmm. so he threw a fit now that he's gone she's, he's out of the picture everything's good with us Back like it had been 13 years prior to that. It was him that had an issue with it. So that one was done. This one out here, Paul, the homeowner, there was a gate back there that we had access to go in the back pasture for my garden, by the drone, whatever. And I bought the gate, put it up on William's fence. Paul gave me permission to go back there and mow and do whatever I needed to do. Mm -hmm. When he started renting it out, he told the renter. He has permission to go back there and do whatever he needs to do mowing gardening whatever and that gate belongs to him okay and what y'all don't know is while i was on, gone on vacation and i have worked with this guy and worked with him. he'll tell you she'll tell you the house over there tell you the yeah. one on the other side oh, of him will tell so. you everybody mm -hmm. has been trying to work with this guy he's a 24 year old guy drinks a lot bipolar Found out he's, he's huffing some, uh, paint thinner now. Mm. I just found that out. You know the inside on all your neighbors. Yeah, no, I just found this out the other day. Mm. I just found this out the other day. Just found it out. And mm. uh, he's had a bunch of issues. Mm -hmm. And I had calmed him down, talked him out of things, and said, hey, just calm down. It ain't worth arguing about, blah, blah, blah. He got into it with a neighbor on the other side. got a trespass on him. Mm -hmm. He got in their face. And the one across the street, he got in his wife and daughter's face also. So it's been a constant deal with him. And so while we were going on vacation, apparently he told my son he had an issue with somebody that one of those vehicles belonged to, and that he needed to get out of, his, out of his driveway and wanted my son to help him. And my son said, well, let me know, and I'll come help you. Well, 1.30 in the morning, we're still on, we're still on the cruise ship at the time. 1.30 in the morning, he says, uh, he all of a sudden brought the truck and dumped it in front of our house. The jumped truck in front of our house and dumped it right in front of the mailbox. So he walked outside and said, hey, dude, why did you dump that in front of our house? No, it's not our problem. So Dean got a little upset with him. Also, I just called the cops with the cops still with the vehicle. So they came out here with Officer Hernandez, and he told Officer Hernandez some random person dumped the vehicle here because he didn't want to get Dean in trouble. And then all of a sudden, while they're out there looking at the vehicle and stuff, Dean comes out and sees the cops. He starts throwing a fit with the officers. And the officer's like, okay, well, it's your vehicle. So we're just going to write you a $500 ticket for, I guess, uninsured, unlicensed vehicle in, in the roadway or something. That's what Austin told me. And, uh, and then Austin's like, well, uh, I don't think that's really necessary, is it, if he moves the vehicle back over there? And I'm like, well, we can avoid it if he moves the vehicle back over, so they can do that. But by that point, he's already mad at my son, all right? I get home, he's telling me what's going on, and I'm like, dude, you shouldn't have dumped it in front of our home anyway. You should have dumped it in front of the empty lot or in front of your house, not in front of our home. I said, but it's a public roadway, you can do what you want. I said, I'll talk to him a little bit about it and everything. And he goes, I said, why is that wire in front of that gate? He goes, uh... He goes, oh, it's because of her dogs keep getting out, like y'all just saw a while ago. They were just out running around. And uh, I said, oh, oh, okay. He said, I can take it down. Can you go mow? I'm like, no, I'll do it tomorrow. The next day, I go over to mow, take it down, go out there and mow, come back in. I put the wire back in front so the dogs don't go up underneath. And two days later, I'm out there flying the drone. My son, I didn't know it was, I kept hearing whistling so cheap because she told me she heard whistling too. He was trying to whistle for me, but I never could see who it was coming from. So he called me, and my phone was in the truck. And I didn't hear it. So about the 15 car, I heard it. And he said, well, there's wire in front of the fence. I said, well, just drive your car around. Come on back here. Come on, come back and I'll see drone. And all he heard was come on back here because he had T-Mobile and it sucked. So he commenced to walking down the fence line, and that's when Dean did what he did. So, so you can move your landing pad 
to another spot if you let's want put, to. Let's put Dwayne in your shoes. He has a, he has a drone. Dwayne has yeah. a drone. And he's zooming it back and forth back here. Yeah. How would that make you feel? It wouldn't make, if he wants to do it, go right ahead. He's within his rights, in my, my opinion. Honestly, he's within his rights. So now, if, right from your fence line right here and just, and just hover there while you're in the pool. I'm not hovering. That's what y'all aren't getting. What's the difference? Joe will come back and he will tell y'all if y'all want to go down there and talk to him. He will tell you I am flying by as fast as speed this thing goes every time. Every freaking time. I'm never hovering over his I feel like Joe is your only the only person that supports what you're saying and well, William it doesn't have you don't have issues with it. William will tell you too. He's watched me a few times too. He didn't watch me every day like Joe does. Mm -hmm. But Joe is actually more his friend than he is my friend. To be honest with you. And that's why Joe says you can go talk to him. Because he knows that it's all about Dwayne just wanting to bitch about something with him. It's called common courtesy to your neighbors. Is what it's called, Chris. I, I am being common courtesy about not finding over his property. And y'all know I'm right. I can fly over I that don't, property all I don't. I think I think you're being. No, you're making an assumption. Enough, uh, you're uh, making an assumption because within my legal rights, I can fly over that property back there because I have permission to be over that property, and I have a right to fly over that property back and forth all day long. I don't have the right to sit there and hover over his property mm -hmm. and take video and picture. That's what it, the law says. You cannot take voyeurism of other people and post that publicly or use it publicly. Mm -hmm. That's what it says when it comes to the drones. It says you can't do that. Just like me at the beach. If I would have took video and pictures of the, uh, the, the girls in their bikinis out there mm -hmm. and posted it on social media, guess what? I'm in violation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to be a jackass here. He's being a jackass by throwing a fit about something that really is not that big a deal. All he had to do is come ask me what the camera shows, and I will show it to him, and that's it. So that's all you got to do. Well, you can move the landing pad. So I can move the landing so, pad, but so it's not going to prevent so me from wait. flying down there all the time because there's times I don't know exactly, you know, how far down I am. Just how like whenever I'm down there, I end up jumping up higher. Because what I do a lot of times is I'm like this high off the ground, going down the field. And then when I get closer down that area, I jump up really high to go above the tree line. Right? So I don't have complete judgment of where I'm at just by looking at the camera on the screen. You know what I'm saying? That would make me feel like it's probably too far if you can't judge where you're at. No, I can't judge where I'm at as far as up, lifting right. up and down. Because I have to be able to see the drone. And then if, as long as I can see the, what happens when you're flying down that direction and you're low like that. You get too far down, you start blending with the trees. That's when I have to jump up above the trees so I can see the drone. And generally, when I'm jumping up is before I'm even to his house. And Joe has, has said the same thing. He said, usually by the time you're at his, you're at his house, you're up in the air quite a way. But like I said, if he want, wants to see the camera, I'll put a drone in and we can show it to him. But, I mean, I know I'm within my legal rights. And I'm tired of him bitching about it. I'm trying to make everybody appease everybody by staying no, you're not. You're in not the back there. You're not trying to appease anybody. You know Dwayne is upset when you find the drone behind so, his house. So if, and you're still doing it. So That's not if, trying to appease anybody. So if he is upset and then the next neighbor You've got six upset, houses in between y'all. But my point is the next Why do you have to upset, fly behind his house? Gets upset, the next neighbor gets upset. Mm -hmm. And I'm still within my legal rights to fly back there. Are you going to still sit there and Comes say the same thing? Comes back to the common courtesy of a neighbor. Okay, but are you still going to sit there and say the same thing? That's my of question. What? If the next neighbor, the next neighbor, the next neighbor, the next neighbor, all the way up to my house yes. says, oh, it's bothering me, you're flying back there. Yes. You expect me not to fly Common the courtesy of a neighbor. It's common courtesy. courtesy. You That's don't what have you're it. Saying. It's not the law. You don't have it. Okay, I do by staying off his property and not over his property. That's what I'm trying to get at. I'm trying to be respectful of his property. By staying off his property with the drone, no big property with the drone. So, I'm willing to show him the camera. That should be the end of the conversation on it. But, I mean, you told us you're not taking video anyway, so what's I'm the camera got to do with it? Because you can still look at the camera capabilities by turning it on and looking on the screen. But it doesn't mean you're taking pictures. You have to actually hit the button that says taking pictures or video. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So... Because like I said, like here, let me show you real quick, just to give you an idea. Because see, that's what they say is it, there's not enough people educated about drones to really know what's going on with drones. Or there's too many people abusing them and annoying people with them. One of the two.
Yeah, at night time, it's like nothing. Anyway, let's see, there's the, there's the camera. Okay, so it, I, when I'm flying and it's actually running, there's an arrow that's pointing at me. Then when that arrow's pointing at me, it's telling me that the drone is going away from me. When the arrow's pointing at pilot, it means it's coming back toward me. It's going that way, of course, which direction it's going down that but way. But you got a line of sight, so you should be able to see which way it's going anyway. Well, have you flown a drone before? Mm -hmm. uh, this big of one, like this? Mm -mm. Okay, it's not like a little toy drone. When you have it down there a little ways, if you don't have colored propellers on it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You don't know which way it's from the back at one point. You get confused. So that's why they have color lights on it and then they also have lines in the in the camera. But look at something. I'll show you. I'm trying to beat that thing real quick, please. I'm trying to get your car. Now look, come here. I'll show you this zoom tape to I'm not the one worried about the zoom capability. You know, I'm showing you. There's your car right there. All right, what, what about? I don't know, 50 feet away maybe? No, nah, we're farther than that. Think so? About mm -hmm. 75 maybe? I know it ain't 100. Nah, probably. 75? 30, 35 yards. All right, so I'm going to zoom in. That's it. That's all mm -hmm. the zoom capability. You can see people has. with that. What do you mean? No, you can't. You couldn't no, see a person sitting in his pool? You could not see a figure, but you're not going to see a person. You're not going to see that. You're, you're going to look like a pimple. Trust me. Because like, I've had it at the back of my property. But by or my home, law, and you look like a pimple. there shouldn't be any people on it, right? I haven't seen that part yet. I'll be interested to see that you part. You just see the parts you want to see? No, no, no. I'm not saying that. Oh. I'm saying that. I just haven't seen that. You're saying Langham has some information on it, right? Or somebody did. No, I gave you the laws of the AMA. Langham is going to give them to me? I am giving them to you. Oh. That says you can't fly over. Do you have them with you? I can pull them up. Yeah. I'd like to have a print out of that. Okay. So, well, but, you can get on the AMA website and print it off. Okay. I'm not going to be able to but, print it off. But uh, what I'm saying but is... But you go through the FAA or WFAA, whatever you said, news agency, so that ain't going to matter anyway, right? Well, obviously, you said news, our, our, our news agency don't care. Don't care? That, they don't, their, their stories don't matter, what you just told me earlier. Like like we talked about, does the news state everything is right? Oh, I'm not saying that. They, True. You, you're right. You're right about All that. their facts are out there. You're, you're right about that. Some of their facts are wrong. <laughs> I agree with you on that one. Okay. But I'm saying, you know, there's a lot of, I've done a lot of research on it before, you know, it came to where I'm flying at and all that. Before I got it, I even researched it. Now, what is my rights? What do I got to do? Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's what I've done. I've done mm -hmm. a lot of research on it. And everything I've read says... 400 feet, maximum maximum deal, line of sight, and then there was something else, uh, oh, you can't fly over groups of people, it doesn't say one person, it says groups of people, and then stadiums, stadiums and something else, it doesn't say home. It, says it doesn't say any kind of dwellings or any kind of it habitations? Stadiums. Occupied stadiums residences? Nope, not that I saw. It says stadiums and something else that I saw. So, but can you pull it up on computer? Yeah, Lang Langham will probably be sending you a copy. Okay, but because you need it, you need to abide by them. Well, yeah, I want to see it because I mean it'd be interesting to see what y'all come up with and then compare that to WFA story and let them fact check it a little bit more. WFA you know? story has no anything, hey, yeah. no weight cover. whatsoever. Well, I know. I'm just telling you that there's actual they, the recent article that they Chris, did. Let me, so. let me ask you this: yeah. Yeah. in your in your uh, experience. Life. Oh, accurate is a new no, that's well, I, I know that's that you told him that. I just told him that. <laughs> I know that. But that's what you're using. Lately, Palmer, come on. I would, I would hang my hat on yeah. the WFA story. Yeah. But I, I mean, at the AMA website, yeah. we and already I, looked at it. And I believe, I, I believe I remember I have looked at it. This may maybe been a month or two since I looked right. at it. And I don't remember anything about houses, but yeah. I do remember It doesn't even say houses. Occupied structures, yeah. unprotected people, or vehicles. Okay. But... And still, I know, uh, which, like I said, I haven't been flying over occupied houses. But, I mean, that's, that's a zoom capability. I mean, it literally, and, and this is, 
four feet off the ground, 75 feet away, you really can't tell. Especially if it's daylight, you'd really even see better. It's really not that great. These things don't have that kind of zoom on them. So when you're at the back of somebody's property like this, and if I was to hover and take pictures or video, they look like a pimple on the picture. Okay, so I've got a question yeah. for you. How far back does the property go that way? My property? No, the property you have permission to fly. That tree line right there. Tree line. Yeah. So it's just narrow 10 acres? Yeah, narrow 10 acres, yeah. So narrow 10 acres is what it is. And up up this way is gardens and his house and all that's up here. 10 acres and we have to fly behind Dwayne's house. So you're just going to side with Dwayne because... Dwayne's the one that called us. That's why we're out here. Well, I know. I understand that. And that's I'm, I told him to go right ahead. You know, I'll show you the camera if you want to see it. But go ahead and talk to police. Mm -hmm. I know I'm within my rights to find that property. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he can just... All right, so I got another question. How far do you think it is from the back of these houses? Right how, how far do you think it is? It's not even as wide as my property. So mine's 285. So, what do you think? A couple hundred feet? No, I'd say about 150, 200 feet. Okay, so why wouldn't you fly it down the middle of the property or against that tree line instead of down the side I of the house? I've flown it against the middle of the property. He's still big. Obviously not. Yeah. He's sitting here saying that the drones drop right off his property. No. Not maybe a uh, few so times. So, you hadn't flown it right off the side of his property. Well, you just said a while ago you fly right behind the back of the houses. Well, yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean, I right mean, behind the houses is between my prop, my back fence and those trees. That's behind the houses, you know? It's not like I, I'm right on the fence line and hugging the fence line on okay. purpose, I think, okay? I think we've established that you're, you're within your rights yeah. flying back there. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you this. Just because something's not illegal, does that mean it's the right thing to do? Well, I can tell you this. I've tried to be as accommodating as I could for them already. I don't think I feel like I need to be any more accommodating. I'm within my rights to do what I, I'm doing. Okay, but you didn't answer the question. What? Just because it's not illegal, does that mean it's the right thing to do? Like I said, with him, I'm, I'm within my rights, and I've done what I've put for him. I've texted him the law. I've texted him the information on it. I told him, hey, look, dude, I'm you're, not you're taking beating, no pictures. You're beating around the bush. The only thing you're going off yeah, of is the law. You're not going off of what are moral character. What are y'all? You're not going off of what character, morals. What are y'all? Your law enforcement Answer my question. Officers, right? Answer my question. Okay. You force the law. Law says he's within his rights. We're also, right. we're, also, we're also mediators yeah. for people that can't get along. Yeah. Okay. And that's what we're doing right now. We're, we're, we, we've established again that you haven't broken any laws that we're aware of. Yeah. However, we're mediating it now that we, we believe that you could do other things. To, to mediate this situation, keep yeah. it from happening in, in the future, having problems with your neighbors, yeah. by, by simply, you know, uh, accommodating them by flying over your own property or flying, like, like, a, also, also, like a said, flying against that tree line all the way to the back. I mean, just, okay, you, you realize this guy has a problem with you flying and drone around his house, but I would too. Mm. Uh, if I'm in my backyard doing whatever I want, if some dude's flying around a drone with a camera on it, but that's why I also do it on the camera. Okay, I would, and I still, when I'll you ask him, you like talk to him about it, you'll, you know, you can ask him, hey, has he stopped and hovered? I'm glad well, he probably said, yeah, man. Yeah, he did. He said he hovered about 24 feet off his property. Tell him to show you picture and video of it. Because I had my camera on the dash video taken. And what if he does show us a picture of you doing that? Hey, come back down here and talk to me. And then what? You're going to say, oh, I'm within my rights line 25 feet off his property? Well, I mean, yeah, I am, but. But okay, again, well, you're, I am, but you're, you're I, mean, you're I just want I just want the, you the bigger point. I just want you to hold on. You're missing he, the bigger point, Chris. The, the bigger point is like like uh, also Devin said, uh, being a good neighbor, man, doing what's right for the for the sake of doing what's right, whether it's illegal or not, is not is not the question anymore. So you're gonna okay? tell him the same thing. You tell him what that he should do what's right. That you're legal and and, and he should let you fly off 25 feet on his property. Well, that's what the law says. That is what it says, but if, if it's irritating him, if, if somebody's sitting in front, if, front if of your house... If you just willing to talk to me about it, instead of text me and cuss me out... You have past names, issues, right? Well, we have, but okay. he's talked to me about issues. I since, think that's probably why you fly behind his house. Stuff since, since because since you guys have past issues. He's talked to me about stuff since then. And, I, and I'm like, okay, so Dwayne... I think that's probably why you fly behind his house because you guys have past issues. No, it's just like I'll give you another example, okay? I don't need any this, more examples. This is you my give best me friend right here. You give me enough examples. Well, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, this is my best friend back here, and he got all that fence line that has got a lot of trees in it back there, right? 
right? I go back there with a chainsaw and cutting trees out to get firewood for my fire pit back here. And Dwayne's bitching and moaning because I'm back there in the trees cutting uh, limbs out of the trees out there behind his house. Then we have, and I'll show you right here. Right here. I don't know if you can see them now. Yeah, you can. Look right over there, there's white, white hay bales right there. We put a trail camera there because the coyotes and bobcats, he bitched about the trail camera. And the trail camera was behind this house right here. It wasn't even down that end. He bitched about it. So every little thing with Dwayne, he bitches about. Again, so I think it goes back he, to past issues. But he knows this is my friend's property and there ain't a dang thing you can do about it back there. And so if somebody, like, so the city code is you can't have anything over 100 decibels after, you know, 10 o'clock at night or whatever. And somebody comes and parks in front of your house on the public roadway yeah. at 99 decibels sitting here and play their stereo all night long. Yeah. Perfectly legal within their rights. You can't sleep, but perfectly legal within yeah. their rights so they can do that. Yeah. You're, you're good with that? Well, I mean, I ain't good with it, but, I mean, y'all, it happens all the time with the Mexicans over there. Every, every we know you're not good with it because you call us out here for it. What? When they're perfectly legal yeah. to do it. But as a good neighbor... They probably shouldn't do that, right? Well, yeah. And we generally go there and talk to them. They say, oh, we're sorry about that. We'll turn the music down. And they generally do turn it down or turn it off. Well, I mean, the neighbor across the street, they've done it before, and I went over and talked to them. Things were fine. Okay. You know? I mean, good neighbors. You can talk to each other. Good neighbors. Right. Yeah, you can good talk neighbors. to each other. Yeah. But, but you're, the, you're the guy that's going to say, I'm within my rights to do what I'm doing, and I'm going to keep doing it. I mean, I wouldn't be jackassing with babies in the house and stuff like that. Come on now. I mean, the, but that's what, I'm not talking about the music anymore. I'm talking about yeah. the drone. It's the yeah. same thing. It's the same thing. Man. You're annoying Dwayne. You know it, so you're going to keep doing it. No, it wasn't a factor of I know it, like I told you earlier. Well, I now had, you know I it. I've flown it for three weeks down there in not a peep. But now you and know. people down there that sit there and say, oh, we watch you, we love watching you fly. Now you know yeah. Dwayne doesn't like it. Okay. So, so what What are we going to do to fix this? If you, all right, the same scenario that Sergeant Palmer just yeah. told you. Yeah. You know, and you resolve the issue with your neighbor. Yeah. about some stuff so yeah. why wouldn't you make an effort to I was resolve today, this I was issue to go down here and show him the camera capabilities. but that doesn't resolve the issue of his problem of you flying close to his property that that's the problem yeah so how well, about me, how about you meet a little bit in the middle if, if I'm, no, I, I'm gonna finish talking yeah. so he's trying to meet you in the middle by coming and talking to you he saying he has issues Apparently, he did, you just said he did. No, he texted me. So he weeks made contact with you about having this. And, and then he calls out. us. No, he didn't. Wasn't like Listen he to me. Made. I'm going to finish right. talking. You're not going to interrupt me. Conversation's over here. All right, and I'll talk to the chief in the morning. Fine. And I'll talk to, I'll talk to the chief. The conversation's over with that kind of attitude. Right well, you're not listening to me. No, they're cutting me off. Chris. Listen to me. Y'all have a conversation. Chris. Okay. Okay. Chris. We're having a conversation. Chris. What? You've cut us off the whole time we've been standing here. You won't let me Okay. You won't let us talk. You won't let us talk because you're legal and your rights to fly your little drone. Okay. I'm within my rights to do it. I'm trying to have a conversation. No, you're not. But y'all want, y'all want to side with somebody down there that's a pain in my ass. There's been a thing pain. And that's why years. you're being one in his. No. On it's purpose. Not, it's not. It's not on purpose. On purpose. You're assuming things. You were assuming things. So he called us out of the, just for nothing. To what? He called us just for nothing. Uh, when, when we wrote this information report, who, what neighbor was that for? What? When we wrote the information report, when uh, uh, Langham wrote the information report, who was that for? We went and put something on somebody's front door. There's a letter. Oh, that had... that's the guy over there in the two-story shot. Okay. So, so. Don't see what I my phone? I think it's back down in the back of your truck. So, you're having multiple neighbors having problems with this, and you don't see a problem with that at all. You're, you're perfect on your rides. Well, like I told him, I, uh, I think I did that. Uh, like I told him, you know, that, that night that I was flying, I was flying basically right in, in this area here on the street over these two houses here and I was right behind this single story right here and that the house backs up to that empty lot back there. The empty lot next to it is where the two story is at where the Mexicans have a party. And all of a sudden they came out and shot yeah, it, yeah, it yeah, and I wasn't even over the property. I was over Vladimir's okay. property. So I went and put the note on his door to let him know, hey, you shoot at a drone, you're within it's the federal charges because of the fact that it's un, it's unmanned an aircraft and everything. So he called me like two days, I guess, after that, after he talked to, maybe he talked to Liam, I don't know, but he talked to an officer and officer, yeah, he's right, it is against the law to shoot at him, to shoot him down. So he called me, apologized to me, and I said, look, man, I ain't trying to be peeping Tom, I ain't trying to do nothing, I'll show you the camera capabilities, it doesn't have 
that kind of cap capability, especially at night time. It was like a freaking bowl of light, is what it looks like. So I went over to talk to him, showed him the camera capability, and he's like, okay, cool, but, you know, if you could, just kind of fly over here. I said, I'm, I'm trying to respect everybody's property. I said, I understand a few people getting upset, so I'm going to start flying over just, you know, the public roadway or back in the pasture in the back. And that's what I've been doing since. So I've tried to accommodate by doing those two things, and now all of a sudden y'all are bitching at me because I'm flying on private property I have permission to be on. And it's all because one person down there wants to grab it. Well, first off, he, I get text messages. He texts me and probably drunk, like Joe said, and started cussing me out, making all kinds of threats, and even threatening to shoot it down. And I sent him the links to the law saying, hey, if you shoot it down, federal charges, miss the law, blah, blah, blah. And things kind of quieted down. And so I continued to fly, do my thing. And then last week, he came out, started yelling and cussing at me again about it. If he and shoots it down, I would say it's either on his property or too close to his property above his house. Uh, it depends on what you're shooting with. AR, shotgun. Good luck hitting a drone with an AR. When you say you're not hovering, well, yeah, you're just true, driving. You're going as fast as you right. can. So you'd be a little bit close yeah, if you could hit it with a shotgun, shotgun right? Yeah. Well, bird shot, I don't know. Yeah, bird shot. Bird shot, you ain't going to get so nowhere. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done that, man. And you years. say you fly over the public roadway in what houses? Them two right there. Fly in their back Pretty door. sure that's an AMA. You cannot fly. Because I fly over this little two acres here, fly back around and come back. Like this. Pretty sure the AMA says yeah. you cannot fly Actually. over. Yeah. Did we not just talk about this? Yeah. And like I said, I'd, I'd be interested to see that. Okay. So. Well. You, being that you're flying a, a registered drone, you have a pilot's license, you already know this. I can just tell him, telling him is the, what I saw was 400 feet. Uh, can't go above that. Maybe you should reread these. Maybe pull them back up. Now we had this conversation. Yeah, pull them back up. Refresh your memory a little bit. Yeah, Stop listening to WFAA, and back. maybe lift to the FAA or AMA. Why do you have a cradle in your truck? Cradle. Yeah. Cradle. Computer cradle. Oh, one thing. You know that? Saw your stickers. Why do you got a sheriff's department badge on the star on the back here? You didn't know that either. I'm tired from Dallas County. Oh, so you only worked there like six months? Oh, no, I was there longer than that. How long is that? You're retired or you don't I work there anymore? No, I got hurt. Oh. So I'm retired from injury. Uh, How long did you work there? I was there a couple of years with them. I was with Wise County for some years. So I was with the state for some years. So, with Dallas, I was with a couple of years before I got hurt. I was with them at least. Patrol? No. Correction. USO. Um, jailer? Yeah. Guard? Yeah. In Wise County, I was guard up there, and then the state, I was guard. Okay. Uh, I got hurt, hurt with them back in 98, I think it was. And uh, I had a fall up there, trying to assist him with the officer, and uh, ended up falling, coming around the corner. And that trustee was just got done mopping, didn't know it. I went flying, messed my back and my neck up. And uh, that's why that little lift sitting over there because I got a scooter. And if I'm doing a lot of walking, like going to the store or, the, or going to the mall or going on a cruise or the zoo, a lot of times I have to have that scooter to help me. You know, if I'm doing too much on my legs, and I've actually got a spinal cord stimulated on my low back that stimulates my spinal cord because uh, I couldn't walk very well at all for three years before they put that in me. And they put that in me and I was able to start getting a little bit more around with it. And then uh, I just had surgery like six weeks ago on my neck. Mm. I was going to burn the nerves every twice a year in my neck because of the nerve damage from injury. But, uh, but yeah, that's the answer to your question. I, mean, I thought you knew that already. I didn't know. Huh? I mean, from my understanding, you worked there six months or seven months. Oh, no. I was, there, I was there at least a year and a half, two years when I was in Dallas when I got there. And it had not even been a little more than that, possibly. So I think it was 96. Yeah, so it's like two years. It was 98. So it might have been a year and a half, two years. So it was uh, 96 when I went to work, and then I got hurt in June, I think it was, of 98. Something like that. So I was there for, with them for a while, and then in Wise County, I was with four, four and a half years. Make sure when you're, when you're wearing your jacket and your t-shirt to Walmart, it's like not telling people it's cold. Oh, no. I know that. I know, I know what I'm, I can't even do when it comes to my hats and jackets and all that. I ain't stupid. All right, I want to talk to Mr. Yeah, I'll try to 
to be a, a little bit better about it, but I mean, I, you need to know what I'm with in my life. And we'll explain that. And, and, and he, you he, need to also start trying to be a good neighbor. That's why I just be. said I'll try to be better about Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Okay? I'll try to be better about it. But I want him to understand that if I back up my health a little bit and I find down there, let's say, for example, I'm going to turn around at Joe and Laura's or Angie's house, which is right next to the one. I might overshoot it a little bit every now and then, possibly, but I'll try my best not to overshoot it. But he needs to understand that thing doesn't have the capabilities he thinks it does. And right. if he ever has a question about he, yeah, that's what I'm talking about the dogs. They get out all the time. Uh, if he has any question about it, all you can do is come ask him. I want to show it to him, just like I did this guy over here on the other side. On the other Maybe he doesn't feel safe coming over here. Oh, come on now. Well, you guys have Dwayne, past issues. Huh? You guys oh, have past yeah. issues. Dwayne, he someone sued me, I wouldn't be okay talking to someone face to face. He don't care. Trust me, he don't care. He does care. Nah. He's calling us. Well, I, mean, I say refresh so. yourself on those AMA. Oh, I, I am. Because you're in violation uh, 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 flying over the residences I'm here. Gonna, huh? I'm going to look at that for sure. And then also flying over the street here, you can't tell me there's no people on your camera. No, there's <clears> not. Okay. Because the thing is, is like I told you, 99.9% .9 of the time I'm not filming or taking any pictures. Right. Well, so all it is is on my screen is I'm flying. You see right. what I'm saying? Right. So, well, make sure you uh, refresh yourself on those. Get up to up to speed because clearly you're not right now. But because right, if I do refresh myself and y'all are wrong, I'll be talking to Chief tomorrow about it. Oh, that's fine. You know, Chief, Chief's well aware. Yeah. Talk Chief all you want. We're not wrong. We're all we're all well aware of the yeah. situation, the issues you have with your neighbors and yeah. everything else. Yeah. Okay. You are in violation of final of those residences, yeah. so we'll go ahead and in that we'll go ahead and document that as well. Yeah, and I'll, but, uh, I'll look at the law, the AMA laws. We'll go ahead and talk to FAA that you're violating stuff, so they may want to talk to you about your license and all that. There's no reason to be smart. We're trying to get back on a better page here, all right? Do what? There's no reason to be smart about it. Right? Be smart about what? What you were just saying. I already told him just now that I'm willing to try to make some concessions with Dwayne. We're going down a better road. And I'm letting you know right now, yeah. this isn't the first time you've been out here for this drone. So if we continue well, to keep going out here, we it's will. the first time y'all talk to me about it. Okay. Okay? Okay. Then the well, first time y'all talk to me It won't be the last, I'm sure. So uh, we'll uh, yeah, I don't know, go ahead and talk to Chief. Talk to me about it. You'll probably be hearing from Langham yeah. and everything else. And they'll, well, uh, Langham's bringing me the same stuff to AMA. I mean, I can look that up myself. Okay. Well, I'm sure he has some other things for you as well. What's that? I don't know. He probably do a documentation. 